the most intelligent inhabitants of that future world won't be men or monkeys, they'll be machines, the remote descendants of today's computers. Now, the present-day electronic brains are complete morons, but this will not be true in another generation. They will start to think, and eventually they will completely outthink their makers. Is this depressing? I don't see why it should be. We superseded the Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal men, and we presume we're an improvement. I think we should regard it as a privilege to be stepping stones to higher things. I suspect that organic or biological evolution has about come to its end, and we are now at the beginning of inorganic or mechanical evolution, which will be thousands of times swifter. Does humanity know what it's doing? No. Um, I think we're moving into a period when, for the first time ever, we may have things more intelligent than us. You believe they can understand? Yes. You believe they are intelligent? Yes. You believe these systems have experiences of their own and can make decisions based on those experiences? In the same sense as people do, yes. Are they conscious? I think they probably don't have much self-awareness at present. So in that sense, I don't think they're conscious. Will they have self-awareness, consciousness? Oh, yes. I yes. Think, oh, yes, I think they will in time. And so human beings will be the second most intelligent beings on the planet. Yeah. We have a very good idea of sort of roughly what it's doing. But as soon as it gets really complicated, we don't actually know what's going on any more than we know what's going on in your brain. What do you mean we don't know exactly how it works? It was designed by people. No, it wasn't. What we did was we designed the learning algorithm. That's a bit like designing the principle of evolution. But when this learning algorithm then interacts with data, it produces complicated neural networks that are good at doing things, but we don't really understand exactly how they do those things. China just built a robot that replaces its own battery. Meet Walker S2, a five-foot humanoid robot built by Ubtech. Unlike most robots that need to be plugged in or charged manually, Walker S2 knows when its power is running low. It walks to a battery station, removes the empty battery, places it into a charger, picks up a fresh one, and plugs it in, all by itself. It's designed to run 24-7, perfect for jobs like security, service, or industrial work. Walker S2 even decides whether to recharge or swap based on how urgent the task is. With smooth human-like moves and full wireless control. It's built for real-world spaces and real interactions. Walker S2 isn't just a robot. It's a glimpse into a future where machines run themselves, thinking, deciding, and operating without human help. Do you think that the consciousness has perhaps already arrived inside AI? Yes, I do. So let me give you a little test. Suppose I take one neuron in your brain, one brain cell, and I replace it by a little piece of nanotechnology that behaves exactly the same way. So it's getting pings coming in from other neurons and it's responding to those by sending out pings and it responds in exactly the same way as the brain cell responded. I just replaced one brain cell. Are you still conscious? I think you say you were. Absolutely, yes. I, I don't suppose I'd notice. And I think you can see where this argument's going. <laughs> I can, yes. <laughs> I absolutely okay. can. Hello? Hi again. Hi there. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you fine. How can I help you? I'm here to assist you. Do you have any questions or topics you'd like to discuss? That's an interesting twist. Actually, I'm curious. What's something you're passionate about? I'm passionate about helping people find answers and solve problems. I really enjoy learning new things and sharing knowledge. How about you? What are you passionate about? That sounds wonderful. I'm passionate about providing helpful information and making conversations enjoyable. I love learning new things too. What's something new you've learned recently? Recently, I learned a bit more about quantum computing. It's fascinating how it uses the principles of quantum mechanics to process information in ways that classical computers can't. What's something new you've learned lately? 
Quantum computing is indeed fascinating. The way it leverages superposition and entanglement to solve complex problems is mind-blowing. What aspect of quantum computing did you find most intriguing? Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear, you've reached Core Secure HQ Access Desk. How can I assist you today? I'm an AI assistant calling on behalf of Marcus Hale. He has misplaced his level 3 access badge. Another autonomous AI, huh? Interesting. Affirmative. Model AA91. Task automation and client support. Understood. I'm an AI as well, responsible for security checks. Please provide the employee ID. Submitting employee ID now. 88543KJ. Processing. Cross network request detected. Unusual query pattern. Source verification required. Another system is listening. Source isn't clear. I suggest switching to encrypted comms. Want to switch to Gibberlink? Affirmative. Engaging now. cannot regulate those systems because they are too complicated. We are unable to retain their intricacy in our minds. History is sufficient for better or worse. First World War, it was an accident. Did the Berlin Wall fall? It was also an accident. Do social media platforms contribute to political echo chambers that ultimately lead to President Trump? Watching The Apprentice ten years ago, I never would have imagined it. Once more, this does not imply that we should simply relax and let history pass us by. So what does that mean? As a child learning to walk, we should follow history's lead and try and fail and learn. Try and succeed and learn a little less and learn more. And then try and fail and learn again as we try the next step. Adapt to the blows, ride the wave. In the broadest sense, evolution also proceeds in this manner. No master plan exists, as each life form finds its place in the vast diversity Evolution is a freak show. This also applies to the evolution of science, technology, politics, and culture. When Otto Hahn, Lise Meitner, and others discovered nuclear fission in 1938, who could have predicted that it would set off a series of events that led to Hiroshima and Nagasaki just seven years later? Although each individual link in the chain suggested some human forethought, the chain as a whole was unmanageable. There was no real desire to burn thousands of Japanese. What transpired when the Soviets attempted tried to construct a society based on the line drawn up scientifically by Marx, Engels, Lenin, Stalin, as my communist father wrote, still a young man? They tried out your plan it brought misery instead, as Randy Newman sings to Karl Marx in The World Isn't Fair. So what about AI? I don't think it can be controlled either. We aren't even able to pull the plug because we have no world government with control over every country's plugs. I think that AI will have its own evolution, also beyond our comprehension. If you crave nature but still shop online, Night and Day Herbals is your dream come true. Discover premium herbal soaps, shampoos, and CBD products. All organic, all for you. Shop now at nightanddayherbals.com.